be the end of Switchblade once and for all. Don't go away. Yes, we see the big man on the way to the ring, but I still got to mention Lumpy Magoo, the surprise of his lifetime, not only cutting his ties with Bigel and Desai, but uh, Lumpy's got a little Cary Grant in him. Cary Grant, oh, all I know is whatever, whatever he did to uh, Serena, she's off the market now. There ain't a man alive gonna want her. I, I guess I'll say George Clooney for the modern day. Clooney. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the OVW Television Championship. Introducing first, the challenger. He comes from Casanza in Italy, weighing in tonight at 320 pounds, Al Barone. Well, last, last thing we need to be doing around here is comparing Lumpy Magoo to George Clooney. Oh, yeah, young boy did okay for himself. I'm proud of him. Mostly proud of him. He cut, cut away from Fernando Landis. He doesn't need that much like a shirt. What a reaction. For that man who really switch play these fans, especially the girls, love this man. Nobody knows that they're always around, trying so hard to be cool. And introducing, he comes from Orange County, California. He is the reigning and defending OVW television champion, Rudy Switchblade. I actually underestimated Switchblade a little bit. I've been calling him 08 and 5. I'm going to have to nickname him 7 and 11. Those pants are $7. And those shoes I hear about 11. 07 11. TV title on the line, referee Bill Clark. As he shows the TV title to Barone, and they will present it to the, uh, to the arena and to the television audience, as is the custom. Hands the uh, TV title out to our lovely production assistant. Slightly above average. And Barone saying, buddy, I'm taking this. Of course, Barone has been. Uh, under the paycheck of J.D. Michaels over the last couple of weeks, Carl. And, and, well, go ahead, Carl. I'm down uh, here with I'm down here with Carl's got to say. If you're going to pick a man to watch your back, you're going to pick the biggest, the meanest, and the baddest, and it don't get much better than Alberone, 320 pounds. Well, and uh, trust me, it's not just Alberone. He's got backup well, as here, well that well, you don't see. Here's what I'm thinking, Carl. He's under the payroll of J.D. Michaels. Who's to say that he don't make short work of him here today? Take that belt and give it back to his rightful owner. What about that? Be the right thing to do. Could happen. There's a possibility you see Barone putting the big foot across the back of the neck of Rudy Swishblade. Barone, a former professional fighter, actually kicked out of the professional fight game because of the men that he injured. And Barone loves to use that huge, that mammoth, that ham hock of a right fist that straight with all on a short clothesline into Rudy. They said Al Barone didn't play fair in the fight game. Well, fair is a uh, well, what's fair? I mean, you fight to win. That's what he did. Al Barone grinded away at the face of Rudy Switchblade right now. And all I know is if I was involved in a fight and I had to pick one man, that one man would be Al Barone. Oh, man, big clubbing right arm across the top of the forehead. That forehand, forehead that was injured, you may see his white bandage on it. And uh, Jamin Olivenci a few weeks ago uh, put the uh, TV title across the head of Rudy Switchblade. And then last week, did it a second time, and uh, Switchblade is uh, obviously feeling the effects of that. Carl, have you ever noticed that when we eat out at the fine dineries around town that if uh, Al Barone happens to be uh, in the same restaurant as us, who we sit next to? Oh, and we, we don't get intimidated no. by any fans or... Uh, no, we don't get any lip from anybody. We know what we're doing. Well, yeah, that's just so you won't find a horse head in your bed the next morning. Oh, oh the cover one! We understand there's people out there that don't like me and Carl telling the truth, as you sit out here and lie every week. And there's people out there actually probably out to get us. Well, we said close to Mr. Barone there, and that ain't gonna happen. Right now, Al Barone using the middle rope for uh, the choke across the throat of Rudy Switchblade. Referee Bill Clark, the five count on. And again, the pressure, you said that uh, Barone had backup, but he just used his backup on the back of the neck of Rudy Switchblade. Al Barone is so intimidating that almost nobody comes up and asks me and Carl for autographs from around. Even the waiters and waitresses stay away. <laughs> you got that right. What if you mess his order up? <laughs> oh, man, Switchblade comes up with an elbow into the gun of Barone, but it, that's not going to phase Barone. You're hitting him in a bad spot. Oh. Yeah, uh, he's got him. That might be the last order you ever take if you mess up Al Barone's order. This is probably the biggest and stiffest challenge that Rudy Switchblade has had since he got that coveted OBW Television Championship. And I think the belt's slipping away, but there again. I was about to say the belt was slipping away from him, but he shows he's got heart. I'm going to play waitress here for a minute. I want to order me something. I want to order Mexican on a silver platter. 
I think it's being served up right now, Carl. Well, Barone we go right and get now. You a spoonful. Barone right now thinks that uh, Rudy ought to be giving out the way he's got that uh, that left knee cranked back. And Al Barone is a submission specialist. Not only has he got that devastating punch to the heart, which he's finished many opponents on, but he's also got a number of finishing moves and submission holds. Oh, Rudy arsenal. right now rolls him back. Oh, you're seeing a submission hold right now. The leg scissors around the neck. I can't believe he's still breathing, to be honest with you. Not only is it cutting off the breath, but also the blood flow to the brain. That's might, a devastating might, hold. Might be putting uh, Switchblade in the same category as Kirk John Chellick, the non-breathing variety. Well, Bill Clark quickly on top of this, making Barone break that hold. But Barone right now is putting the stop the boots into the chest of Rudy Switchblade, cutting off the airflow to the breath. Hold on. Barone puts him down one more time and cranks on that head. Rudy is holding on to anything you hold on to. There's a lot of weight behind that. And oh, look at the pain on the face of Rudy's switchblade. He's being stretched in more ways than are imaginable. Now, now, if Al Barone kills Rudy's switchblade in the ring, let's face it, that ain't going to be the first time that ever happened with Al Barone. There, there have been people that have lost their life being in the ring with him. You're not supposed but to talk it about happened that, in half, I know, but uh, it happened in the ring. Irish whip and on switchblade. Switchblade gets out of the way at the last what, second. And it wasn't in this country. Hold on, what's going on out here? Jamin Olivisi have to interfere from the outside. You Barone don't know sees that. the opportunity. Barone pulls uh, Rudy up, puts what Rudy down. Jamin and uh, Apoc and Vital Atlas right here in front of the TV. Best Come one, on. two. two. Oh, oh, Rudy kicks Come out. On. Rudy kicks out. What heart, what determination from Switchblade. Barone thought it was all over with the crowd. And crying. you don't know he was going to interfere. He was pointing out all the crap he'd been getting by with. Oh! Suicide dive right onto Jamin Olivetti. Ring the bell, ring the bell. What is qualification? Rudy like a bowling ball into the pins. Just did the 17 split on a pocket by Linus and put Jamin Olivetti out. Now, if, he, if he wasn't in the frying pan, he's in it now. All the Southern Tag Team Champions rolling the TV champion back into the hitman. The big man Al Barone and Jamin oh, follows. Baby, we and they're it. putting the boots. We've got a professional quality beatdown going down right now, Dean. We're pulling the boost of disqualification. The disqualification, the winner is still your TV champion, is Rudy Switchblade. Any one of those three men, Dean, can put you in a hospital. What do you think four of them are going to do? Well, right now they're holding it so that Jamin Olivencia, who just popped his left hand on the forehead of Rudy Switchblade. Rudy may have, could have held on to his TV title, but Rudy has just suffered possibly irreparable damage. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Cage 